Hi, my name is Mark Husak and I'm Chief Architect at Rainstore. Rainstore is a database. It's designed specifically for storing billions of records a day coming into a system, uh, compressing it down but maintaining full SQL access to that data. Now we're typically geared to highly read-only uh, workloads, so workloads that you'd associate with um, network events such as call detail records from coming from a telco scenario or from um, smart grid um, uh, data coming into the system. Now what we do is take that data coming into the system, we apply our own proprietary highly compressed technology to it, we squeeze that down and then we store it on a range of storage fabrics. Now because Rainstore is driven around compression, we're completely agnostic to the storage fabric in which our compressed objects live. It can live on a network attached storage, on SAN or, or uh, content addressable storage, or even Hadoop HDFS. Regardless of the storage fabric, we provide direct SQL access to that data, and we follow the SQL 92 standard. We've also extended our SQL grammar within our own query engine to, to allow certain constructs within Oracle and SQL Server SQL to be supported. So above that, we also provide full JDBC and ODBC access to the data. Um, now, what we've announced within January is the ability to directly query our compressed objects within Rainstore via Hadoop MapReduce tasks. Um, not only can you address that directly through Java MapReduce, but you can run pig tasks that gives you a procedural view of your data, and you can access the compressed objects directly in Rainstore by a pig. So there's a good reason that you'd want to do this. We're providing um, a procedural view of the, the data, a data flow element to the data that you store within Rainstore, um, to allow you to perform deep analytics in a batch kind of scenario. But at the same time, within our Hadoop model, you're able to provide real-time uh, end-user search uh, performance capabilities directly against the data.